Hello Internet, this is Ben with another Mysterious Space update. Uh, there are some things I want to show you in-game, but I won't be able to talk and think at the same time. So before I jump in-game, I just wanted to catch you guys up on a few things. Um, first of all, the French translations are coming along super great. Uh, the, the girl doing the translations had some questions about like the, the level of formality that some of the dialogue should be, because that changes some, some words you use in French. Uh, I think really just you, so there's a, a formal you and an informal you, vu versus tu. So anyway, she had some questions about that, but the dialogue hopefully is all going to be done soon, and then you know we'll hit the, the UI elements and other things afterwards. So that's really cool. Um, JAXA, in, so in my previous video I talked about how profits from Mysterious Space when not going toward mysterious space itself, I want to donate to awesome things. Um, so first, the space agency, and I emailed JAXA, the Japanese space agency, to ask them how I could donate to them, because uh, I could not find a form in English, only in Japanese. They've never got back to me. Probably, I don't know if they ever will. So for now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. Um, but, you know, I mean, even that's getting a little ahead of myself. So another thing I want to tell you guys about is that I have been put in contact with a lawyer to help me figure out you know, to make sure I'm doing all this stuff right. And I talked about wanting to do this before. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully I'll meet up with them sometime this, this coming up week. That'll be super awesome. Uh, we still need to figure out the time, and I'll need to take time off of work, but it'll be fine. So, so anyway, yeah, that'll be awesome, especially when I want to do... Like, I don't even know if it's actually possible to donate to uh, an out of, you know, something in another country. You know, like... The, I just have so many questions, so the sooner I can do that, the, the faster I can move on. But JAXA has not gotten back to me, so it's possible that I'll have to donate to the European Space Agency, or, you know, if all that's too hard, then the NASA, after all, I would prefer, I don't know, I feel like NASA's got tons of money compared to other space agencies, but anyway, any anything is good. So, yes, that's all going to get figured out. French translation's coming along great. Uh, another thing is that the music issues, so for some people, because of the, of the library I've been using, Monogame, it just crashes for some people when they start up the game or when they uh, start a new, like, so for some people it crashes the moment they try to launch Mysterious Space, like it, they never see anything. For some people, it crashes when they do New Game and start a little character, it's red so I'm going to call it Cherry, and they can't get to this screen, it crashes. Um, and it's all related to the music from the crash results, and the music library, um, which is mono game, which does a lot more than music. It does all the graphics and the controller inputs and everything. Uh, but the music part of it is just bad. It's really bad. It's been plagued with problems for, for years, and they've known it. Um, and it's having problems for you guys. It's crashing the game. For some people, it doesn't crash the game, but they can't hear any music, or it won't repeat the songs, or it won't respect the volume setting that you set. Or for some people, like me, it works pretty great. There's some weirdness with the volume anyway. Endless problems with the music library. So, uh, DDR Kirby ISQ, who's been making all the music for Mysterious Space, uh, pointed me toward FMOD, which is another library for playing music. It's one I had looked into for a totally different project years ago, uh, but at the time for FMOD, you had to pay them to use it no matter what. Now, apparently, they've changed the license to be a little more forgiving. If you're an indie developer and you're making a very small amount of money, then they're like, you should just use it for free. So I can use it for free, which is awesome. Uh, maybe that will change in the future. I don't know. But for now, it's free, and that's great for me, and it's great for you, because hopefully this one won't have as many problems. Uh, FMOD has been around for a long time, and it, I don't know, you know, it's, it's been around for a lot longer, and it's also you know, more focused. The only thing they're worrying about is sound and getting it to work, whereas um, a lot of the problem with Monogame I've noticed is that it compiles to many different platforms and there's different ways that you can handle the music and the sound or the graphics. Uh, um, like different, you can either do DirectX or OpenGL basically, and so they're, they're just like, it's, it's such a huge base and Windows DirectX gets the least amount of attention, so, um, and that's what I'm, I'm using here. Uh, so, anyway, so so the, the bugs, they just they don't address them. So anyway, hopefully FMOD will be a lot better. Uh, and let me turn down the volume. The other thing, so, so that's going to be out in the next release. That will be there. You guys will hopefully have more awesome music that doesn't crash the game or not play or whatever other stupid issues Monogame is having. And I don't want to top down Monogame, uh, say, I don't know, bad things about Monogame too much because 
it has been amazing what I've accomplished with Mono Game, right? I mean, it, it is really good when it does things well, uh, but the music just seems bad. So anyway, uh, the other thing that will be in this release, and it's not done yet, but I'll show you what I've got so far, these glowing mushrooms. So let me shoot one up. The glowing mushrooms are a form of mini boss, um, kind of. It's almost not even. So sometimes on forest worlds, there will be mushrooms. And when you have mushrooms on the world, you have to kill these glowing mushrooms to get fuel. The part that is not implemented yet, oh, and you'll notice they were fuel shards. If you saw on the on the very top of the screen, it said it was like shard two of four. So I've got to get blow up four of these uh, glowing mushrooms in order to get one fuel. Uh, and all the fuel is locked up inside the mushrooms. So here's three. Oh, that's a little scary. Four. And now I have a full fuel. I must have just barely missed that hitbox. I was like, my shield was overlapping with that mushroom. I'm surprised that didn't register as a hit. Uh, but I will take it. Um, Yes, so the part that is not done about the mushrooms, I don't want it, you know, don't shoot the beehives, because look what happens, bees. The part that is not done with the mushrooms is that um, the glowing mushrooms are not the only ones. I have four different types of mushrooms, they're just, ah, uh, he's not supposed to be on top of that, I thought I fixed that, alright, let's get out of here. Um, there are other types of mushrooms, and they will all do different things, and you won't see any of those mushrooms unless it's a mushroom-covered planet, in which case I'm going to go crazy and put mushrooms all over the place. Uh, and, you know, mushrooms, I don't know, it's, it's almost another kind of biome. It's a weird mix between, it's using a lot of the mini-boss code, but, you know, it's, I don't know, it's not quite a mini-boss, right? It's weird, it's mushrooms, so have fun with mushrooms. Anyway, there are other types of mushrooms. Some of them will explode into bullets when you kill them, so, you know, typical. Uh, some of them will uh, blind you when, they exp when, when they're dead. I'll, I'll, I don't know exactly how I want the effect to look, but no matter... You know, it's not like you can dodge it. When you kill it, you get blinded, and so you'll have the blinding effect on you. Uh, just like when you drink those... or do, Sorry, I'm thinking like old school rogue. When you drink those potions, when you use those alien artifacts that blind you, uh, you it'll be that same effect. Um, also, that's mean. I purposely made them not deal much damage, so that might be something to look into. They should not spawn in areas so small you can't dodge them. That's... That's just not nice. Um, and there will be some mushrooms that just release spores, kind of like the spores will act like the bees from the beehives, but it will just occasionally be emitting them, you know, a couple at a time. And so that'll be another kind of mushroom. And let me show you all the graphics, because I've drawn all the graphics, they're just not in the game. Um, here's some code. Here's the code for the for the mushroom crystal. Oh, don't look at its secret stats. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. All right, let me find... Um, oh, what's that? Oh, sorry. It's a video recording. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a crate. We don't want the crate. What we want is mushrooms. Good. So these are the different mushroom graphics. Um, this was the glowing one you saw. This one is just going to be high health, you know, just being an obstacle, hit it a bunch, and then it dies. Uh, this is going to be the one that explodes into bu red bullets that hurt you. This one will explode blinding you. And then this one will have the little spores that come out and get you. Um, and I'm kind of embarrassed that these are here. This is for when you hit them, they turn all white. I could be accomplishing that with a pixel shader, and I've done that for a previous game, but I just got lazy here, and all of Mysterious Space now I have white versions of the sprites. But anyway, um, so yes, so those are the mushrooms. So that, that'll be in the next release. Uh, this music hopefully fix, I, it's gonna be better. Um, I, <laughs> I'm just paranoid that, you know, with all the problems we've had that we will, this, using this new library will fix the issues for some players, but break it for new players. You know, players who, who weren't having problems before will now have problems. I don't know. Send me your crash reports. It's super useful. That's how I discovered this issue to begin with. Um, but anyway, so I don't want to say all your problems will be solved because I'm using a new library and I don't know, you know, what all is going to come out of that. For some people, there might be problems. And uh, apologies in advance if so. We'll, we'll figure out a solution. And in fact, if FMOD proves more crashy than mono game, then I'll just go back to mono game. I mean, I, the whole point of trying out this new library is to make it work for more people. So if it doesn't accomplish that goal, never mind. But anyway, so use of the FMOD library will be in the next release. Um, the mushroom mini boss, whatever you want to call it, will be in the next release. And a new song from DDR Kirby ISQ for the Lava Worlds, which sounds much better than the previous Lava World music. Uh, that will also be in this release. And that's basically it. Um, I have not found as much time to work on Mysterious Space, unfortunately, as I would like. Um, something else I want to talk about, though, is save game compatibility. Uh, usually, so for this release, your previous save, save games should load up no problem. Um, 
but it is very easy for me when making changes to the game to break uh, the save game compatibility. Um, and it's just the nature of the built-in code that I'm using to save the games. It's serialization, it's something built into C-sharp where you can dump these objects, whatever, you just give it a, a class and you say dump all the properties to a file. And that's how I'm saving it. And the problem, again, is that it's very finicky. If, if a variable changes names, or if I add you know, too many or, or remove one, then the save game just won't load anymore. I'm not sure what the best solution to that is. Um, you know, before the Steam release, I wasn't so worried about breaking save games because I figured, you know, you, you as a player would know that upgrading would break your saves, so before upgrading, you would finish out finish out any current games you had. But Steam now, you know, now that it's on Steam, it just automatically pushes these updates to you, and so you don't get the chance to finish up your saves. You know, you sign on one day, and the game you were playing yesterday is now broken. And that, right, that would suck. So I need to find a good solution. I don't know if that involves... There might be better ways to, to serialize. There's data contracts, which I haven't looked into. It's a another C-sharp thing. Um, so I might look into those. Another thing I might look into is um, I noticed when setting up the settings for the game on Steam, Steam provides a little checkbox to me that's like, don't auto-update. Uh, but if I do that, then I don't know how I do get updates out to you, you know? So, there, there, I mean, there's that seems kind of suboptimal if that's going to create more work for you guys, you know? So, so I don't know. So I'll, I'll look into some different options. Um, but, but at any rate, for this next release, save games, I believe, are going to be totally compatible, so it shouldn't be a problem. But it's a thing to be aware of for the future. And if anyone has any suggestions, you know, has coded this sort of thing before, that'd be super great. Uh, but anyway, I think that's all I've got. Uh, yeah, donation progress, translation progress, uh, FMOD, hopefully making everyone's lives better and non-crashy, and looping music properly. And it does sound better even on mine, I can already tell. Uh, yeah, Mushroom Mini Boss, and I think that's it. So thank you for watching and playing and giving feedback, and please send those crash reports. They're so super helpful. Uh, and, and yeah, I will let you guys get back to, to your lives. <laughs> and, um, oh, when will this version be out? This version will be out, well, I don't know, probably sometime in the middle of this week, uh, at which time, hopefully, I will have more updates for you guys on... Like, I don't know, the weird legal side of, of Mysterious Space. I don't know, that stuff is so fascinating to me. I would love... If I was watching the progress of another game, I would like to know those funny internal workings just because I am a curious person. So hopefully you guys find those interesting as well. Um, if not, sorry, I'll probably keep rambling about them anyway because I know there are other people out there who are curious. So um, anyway, yes, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>